Welcome to Geology Life and Healing, and um, this is Limonite 102. And uh, this, um, and if you didn't see 101, fine and see it. So you will um, follow what we are talking about in, in this uh, 102 video. So 102 video is about how to make difference between uh, supergenic hematite and hypogenic hematite. Why is that important? We have a, a satellite image, Landsat image and everything, you, you, you X-ray and uh, you have hematite in, this, uh, in uh, your map and you have to figure out which one is a super gene origin from um, hypogen origin. Why? Because the super gene uh, origin is coming from the calcocyte. Calcocyte is going to target you for the base area if you are mining or you are doing exploration, exploration is going to, going to find the the next uh, ore source. And if you are mining, that's uh, you'll have more tonnage. And so then in, in this process, uh, we're going to use um, chloridic acid. We are going to use nails, iron nails and uh, gloves for your hands, protect your hands because we're going to use 10% acid uh, chloridic acid. And um, the first sample with the primary uh, uh, primary hematite from the uh, magnetite, and the second one will be uh, hematite coming from the calcocyte. And uh, um, in the final test we, will be to see to, to be able to, to to check how you check it. And, uh, you uh, you check it with your hand lenses in the nail, and you will see play the copper in your nail. And uh, and for the best results, and you do have, you know, when you, when you put the acid and everything, you can hold maybe one minute or two, you know, wait until the um, copper applied it uh, from the hematite to the nail. And that's the uh, last advice. Okay, so enjoy it. That, that's the, the, the video and subscribe. And, you know, if, if, you, if you have a, uh, uh, some questions on the exploration and targeting and everything, you, you are doing exploration. So send me, send me a comment, send, send me a message and I'll, I will help you, you to find the, the, the next um, secondary enrichment target or the next perfect copper deposit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy, enjoy. The, the first one that uh, I want to test it, how, how do I know it's a uh, hematite? It's hematite, it is um, iron oxide, but it's magnetic, right? So uh, uh, I put it this, you know, it's a uh, magnetite, it's iron oxide, and it is a uh, uh, primary. And the streak, in this, in this case, uh, put it the streak, is red. Right, yeah. So that's the hypogene uh, hematite, and so we use the uh, chloridic acid uh, like this. You know, I'm gonna use the same spot that uh, uh, I put at the streak. It's a uh, ten percent chloridic acid like that, and I'm gonna use the the first nail. It's going to be this one. In case something I wanna do it uh, like like this, something like that. And yeah, put it as much as I I can. All right. So uh, you know, and I think it's, uh, you, you you put uh, the chloridic acid or you know over the nail. That's what uh, we are doing, right? Something like that. You know, everything is red, right? And then, once we got that, we, I use a little butter clean in here, and I have a sprayer. And this. You can clean it up, or something like this, you know, and take it out of everything. What do you, do you see it? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you don't see any copper plated. Yeah, well, everything that you have as a, a iron oxides in one side, but that's, uh, you don't plate any copper in there. So that's the test for the hematite from the hydrogen. 
The second sample that we, uh, we are going to work is uh, this one, the area, you know, all, all the hematitis, uh, this reddish thing, and maybe there's some more in here if we scratch it a little bit, and there's maybe we scratch it over here. Also, um, you have uh, some hematite in there after calcocyte, you know, this is the calcocyte, and, and uh, this is the hematite. So let, let's do, and there we have, um, you know, the chloric acid. It'll go like that. And I'll use the nail. i use something like that into the hematite. Let's see. Air on the red iron oxide. Something is it happens is that after calcocyte you have two molecules of cuprite. In the chloride you will have uh, four molecules of cuprite. So you add a chloridic acid and you have a iron nail like uh, this one. It's gonna plated copper in it. So that's a uh, whether we will want to see if we, we can get uh, some copper plated. Uh, let me see if I can add a little bit more. Hey! It's chloridic acid, 10%, and something like that. And now we're gonna see the nail is there. And let's see if I really played it up. You see any shiny? Yeah, it did. Some other nail that never has been, you know, oxidized and everything. It's like that, right? That's uh, the difference. And so this is uh, um, copper plated in the nail, and uh, this is no plated copper. One of the ways to, to test it if uh, if uh, you have a, a copper over the nail is using your hand lenses like a. I'm trying to do that. So if you can see with your hand lenses like that, that's the uh, plated uh, copper over the iron nail. Yeah, you see the fractures. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, plated copper after hematite, supergenic hematite, that it was um, calcocyte. That's beautiful. Right there, half in there. More in there. There. So this is one way to test it. Use your your, your hand lenses, and you, and uh, you can see it. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.